What you are about to hear is another prophecy from the prophet who prophesied Japan's judgments of God 16 years prior to March 11, 2011. www.dailymotion.com Prophecy to Japan 16 years prior to 2011. Jesus declares World War III on sinners worldwide. God is pissed off at sinners worldwide. Therefore, he has officially declared the start of WW3 on Earth. It is not being started by Russia. I speak I unto thee this day, and I say, when I, a living God, brought my people out of Egypt, I had nothing but good intended for them. I had nothing but mercy prepared for them. But I say that they are the ones who gave way to an evil heart of unbelief and imagined evil against me. And I say, because they imagined that evil, they gravitated the same unto themselves. But I say that it originated with them and not with me. And I say, so it is even now when men have evil imaginations against me, when they accuse, when they rail in bitterness, I say they are the fools. For I say the very ugly things that they attribute unto me are coming from them. I say this day that I, the living God, have goodness prepared for thee. I say do not imagine evil in your hearts, do not conjure up the wickedness that can befall thee, but I say instead be thankful that I, the living God of goodness and mercy, prepare that I make the way before thee. And I say, if you will think about the good things that I have done for you again and again and again, you will be uplifted in faith, in trust, in confidence in me. For I say that you will know of a surety it is me, the living God, who gives you tender mercy time and again. And I say you will know of a surety it is me, the living God, who guides you forth in the way of my blessedness provided and revealed. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk in a way of weariness, a way of dreariness, a way that is far from me. But I say that I call you to be uplifted and brought forth, guided and directed each day. Now I say when you see these ones who have turned from my way to embrace the way of the world, why do you imagine that it is? I say it is because they have imagined evil in their hearts against me. They have given way to the wickedness, the evil of a heart of unbelief. And I say they have taken up accusation against me. Then I say they have turned to the very thing that is the enemy of my purpose in their lives and embraced the same. But I say that the evil originates from them, from within their own hearts. And I say it is the iniquity that they have fostered, it is the wickedness that they have nourished. And I say it is the unbelief that they have cherished in the recesses of their hearts. Elsewise they would not turn against me, they would not accuse me, nor my people, nor my servants, but I say they would remain faithful and true. I say this day that I, the living God, will avenge myself upon the ones who allow evil to originate within them. Then one to blame the same on me, blame the same on my people, when it absolutely is not true. I say this day be thankful that I give to thee tender mercy, that I give to thee loving kindness, that I direct thee in my way. And I say, be thankful that I ever purpose thee in the blessedness, the strength, the truth, and the light that I provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will guide you forth in the way of the upright. I say, it is me, the living God, who will guide you forth in the way of the faithful, the truth. For I say, if it is me that you keep on loving and serving, if it is me that you will follow after and obey, then you are brought forth in my way. Now I say this day in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, be thankful, ever thankful unto me. That is, that you can be brought forth in that which I give you time and again, for I am indeed well able. And I say, if you will indeed be serving me in the attitude of gratitude each day, and looking at the goodness that I provide, then I say you will not give way to bitter railing accusation against me. And I say that you will not harbor in the recesses of your heart wickedness and unbelief. For I say, when a man thinks he has the right to judge me, to evaluate me, and to prosecute and persecute me, such a man is a total fool. For I say that he will go down under the ugliness of his own way. And I say that he will indeed receive the evil that he imagines in his heart against me. I say this day there is none that returns to the world that finds the place of blessedness and bliss that they imagine in their hearts. But I say instead they find the place of torment and anguish and sorrow because they have betrayed me. Now I say this day that those in the wilderness who took, took up unbelief, railing accusation against me, bitter hatred, and imagination of all manner of evil, where did they end? I say they ended in the wilderness, dying prematurely, with no life at all. 
And I say they ended separated from me. They perished because of the wickedness of their own hearts, because of the unbelief of their own choosing, and because of their accusation against me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call any to perish through unbelief because they turn back from me. But I say that I call my people to fight the good fight of faith to maintain their hope, their trust in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who will indeed avenge myself upon the evildoers, the ones who betray the trust I have put in them. And I say when they turn to wickedness rather than faithfulness, I say they are shame unto my name. Now I say this day be thankful that I, the living God, am ever present to guide you forth, that you do not need to be bound under my wrath. For I say the vast majority of those who end up under my wrath put themselves there. That is because they choose unbelief, they choose doubt and fear and accusation, they choose bitterness rather than faithfulness unto me. And I say they choose to conjure up evil in their own imaginations rather than concentrating on the goodness of who I am. Now I say, consider again, when I brought my people out of Egypt, there was no evil nor wicked intent in the same. But I say, it was for mercy, it was for goodness, and it was that they could be faithful and true unto me. Now I say, consider when I gather my people to community, that they can indeed serve me in freedom, that they can indeed rejoice in me. I say, there is no evil intended at all. But I say, when the ones who have evil in the recesses of their hearts will take up accusation against me, I say they will receive what it is that they imagine in their minds. For I say it is me, the living God, who will turn them over to evil, to wickedness, and I say they will live in the bitter water of the same. And I say they will drink the same day after day, for they made themselves prisoners by their thoughts. That is, by evil imagination, by unbelief and conjuring, I say they've taken the way of the damned. But I say that the faithful, the true, will be able to report of my goodness time and again. For I say that they will be able to rejoice and give me thanks and praise for the times that I have delivered them, for the times that I have brought them forth. And I say that they will know of a surety it is me, the living God, who does bring vengeance upon the wicked doers, the evil ones, who will try to pursue the just. And it is me, the living God, who will bring to naught the counsel of those who are so far from me. For I say that I've never intended that my people would go in the way of unbelief, but I've intended that my people would be brought forth by me, ever uplifted, guided, directed, and given my light always. Now I say this day in an evil, a wicked, a perverse, a vile generation, be ever giving thanks to me. That is, that it is me you can look to and believe, that it is me you can trust and obey, for I will guide you in my way. That is, I will guide you forth in the righteousness, the truth, the mercy, and the hope that I provide. And I say that I will give the abundance unto thee that you have need of every single day. Therefore I say, be faithful, be true, be steady in your commitment unto me. And I say, continue to be guided forth each day in the way of my truth, my light, my mercy revealed. And I say, continue to be thankful each day that I give to you the truth, the light, and the strength of who I am. For I say that I, the living God, absolutely do not withhold any good thing from the ones who will believe upon me. But I say that I do bring them forth and guide them each and every day. Now I say this day, if you keep your vision single, if you keep your hopes that are right, if you keep your covenants unto me and do not turn aside to whoredom, then I say you are guided in the good way that I have in store. For I say it is me, the living God, who has goodness and mercy, abundance, and the provision that only I can bring. Now I say, when you see the goodness I've given to some, and they have trampled the same, when they have abused my mercy and turned back on me, what do you see? I say, you see fools who are headed down the course of their own damnation, and I say they will live in the agonies of the damned. For I say, it is me, the living God, who turns them over to be the very prisoners of the evil they have imagined against me. And I say, yes, they will die prematurely in the sense that they bring forth nothing in the spirit except their own death. I say this day, be thankful that I, the living God, do give to thee the light upon the path. I give to thee tender mercy and the truth that I provide. And I say that I do uplift, direct, and bring you forth each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness and truth, the way that is mercy and light, and the way that is peace provided. And I say, if you are coming forth in the way that I give, then you are guided by me. And yes, you are given the hope, the truth, the mercy, the strength, and the blessedness that can only be found through me. 
Now I say this day, be glad to continue, be glad to believe, and be glad to receive of me. For I say, if you are coming forth in the way that I offer, the way that I give, then I say that you will be found rejoicing in me. That is, ever uplifted, directed, and guided in the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. And given the way before thee, that I the living God do intend the way of my life. For I say it is a good thing to trust, to believe, to look to me, for I am indeed well able. And I say it is a good thing to be brought forth in that which I intend for my own. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is all mercy and strength. And it is me, the living God, who ever guides you in life. And I say that I will give to you exactly what you need as you will continue to trust, to believe, to hope in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call any to give up, to turn back, to fall away. But I say that men are doing those things because they do not keep their hearts with diligence before me. Then I say they will become my enemies instead of my friends because of what it is that they give themselves unto. For I say when any will give way to railing accusation against me, when any will turn back from the straight and their way, what is it that they involve themselves in? I say they involve themselves in accusation, in an evil heart of unbelief, in bitterness, and I say they give themselves over to anger and wickedness day after day. And I say it is all for naught, for I say they bring forth nothing except the course of their own destruction and damnation of souls. Now I say this day, consider that I, the living God, have called you to the way of my goodness, my mercy, and my light provided each and every day. And I say that I've called you to walk uprightly in me and be ever guided forth by me. Therefore I say even now be thankful to believe upon me, to trust me, and to serve me, for I am the I am. That is, I am the way that is truth and light. I am the way that is mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. And I say, when you will cleave to me, believe upon me, and trust in me, then you are guided by me. And I say that you will be directed, corrected, and brought forth. I say, be thankful that you do not need to serve the evil one, nor do you need to serve the God himself and the demons that accompany the same. But I say you can indeed continue to serve me, the God of goodness, the God of mercy, the God who has loved your soul. And I say that you can continue to repent each day, keeping yourselves clean before me, and driving out those things that would be in the recesses of your heart to accuse me. I say there is no accusation that any man can bring that will stand, for I, the living God, am just, and my punishments are perfect. And I say, if I punish a man's flesh to free him from the clutches of the same, that a spirit may soar in me, he needs to be thanking me. I say, this day be glad to serve, to love, to obey me, and be kept in my mercy each day. That you do not be found under my wrath, revealed upon the unfaithful, the untrue, the ones who turn to... Storms me. are rolling again through Texas. Tonight they are hoping it is not the hail. The hail looked like torpedoes being shot into this backyard pool in Wiley, Texas. Meteorologist Tom Bradshaw. This is really, really unusual. As more than 10,000 people lost power. Why? Why is this happening? Why? It's just incredible. I've never been through anything like this before. Here in Wiley, you can hear the glass shattering. As massive hailstones pierce through the windows of this home. Tons of dead sardines clog the Kaole River in southern Chile. Authorities have started cleaning up, but why the fish died is still a mystery. New information on the Indiana State Trooper that we told you about on Good Morning Tri-State, who was fired for promoting religious beliefs during traffic stops. I work for the state, but all of me, I'm a soldier for Jesus Christ. God has used that job in the last three years, what it was supposed to be met for. Now it was to spread the word, to tell people when they're hurting the truth. Government programs cannot touch anybody. It's the word of God that can change people.